Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Alan Boyle, Aerospace and Science Editor for GeekWire, and I'm here with Marsha Berkey, Senior Vice President for TerraPower here in Bellevue, which is working on the next step in nuclear energy innovation. Hi, Alan. Thank you for visiting our lab today. You are in Bellevue at TerraPower's laboratory where we're doing innovative work in nuclear technology. We're advancing nuclear technology because we think it's scalable, carbon-free, baseload technology, but we're trying to innovate in areas that um, are holding nuclear back, so in areas of safety, economics, and waste. And we're standing in front of our fuel handling experiment. This is a commercial-scale experiment where we're testing how the fuel um, is inserted and removed, whether it bends, bows, swells, so that we can control the reactor. So this is an example of how we're de-risking our design to be ready um, to demonstrate at commercial scale. And this is just one piece of what's going on at TerraPower, that there are more labs in this 10,000 square foot space where you're putting the puzzle pieces together to produce uh, eventually a demonstration nuclear reactor. That's right, there are several sections of the lab and we're building our lab. We're adding 65,000 square feet to our laboratory space. And we have a, two reactor technologies we're developing. One is the sodium fast reactor traveling wave reactor and the other is the molten chloride fast reactor. Both reactors have their um, fuel in the core for long periods of time. So we're working on materials innovation here we start in the computational simulation domain in a computer, and we have a supercomputer to do that. But then we quickly have to get into the laboratory. And this is a much more expensive part of the demonstration of our technology readiness levels. And to do that, we want to de-risk at each stage so that we're only really advancing to the next stage when we've eliminated options um, in, the, in, the, in the earlier experiments. And in terms of how radiation and uh, radioactive materials are used here, I understand that that's not a big deal. You're, you're using little thimble-sized bits of uh, radioactive material, but mostly it's in the simulation phase. Um, the materials we're working with here are primarily surrogate materials. So, for example, we're not working with uranium on our fuel assemblies that we're testing in here. We're working with stainless steel. Um, so there's no radioactive uh, risk in our laboratory. It's mostly background, the same as background radiation here. Um, we do have a radio, um, radiological laboratory that we work in, and they're working with very small amounts according to the Department of Health state license. And you use high energy uh, levels in electricity to simulate the high heat that's involved in a nuclear reaction. Yes, when we're testing things like flows in our um, molten chloride fast reactor, or erosion or corrosion, or materials on the traveling wave reactor, how things bend, bow, we're usually heating, we're always heating here in the laboratory with electricity. Mm -hmm. And what's the ultimate plan uh, for TerraPower? Uh, what do you hope to do? A lot of people have seen what's gone on with Fukushima and with other uh, nuclear issues, but I, I think that what you're trying to do is to innovate to, to give people a different view of how nuclear energy works. Yeah, so that's exactly what we're doing. We're a, a nuclear innovation company and we're Imagine if we hadn't innovated in cars or telephones for the last 50 years. So we are trying hard to take current computing, current materials, and modernize the way in which we've um, deployed nuclear technology. And by doing so, we can get to reactors that produce much less waste or burn the waste product, reactors that are inherently safe, walk away safe so that a Fukushima could not happen and reactors that are also non-proliferative and more economic. So that's our goal. And the reason we're doing that is because nuclear is carbon free and nuclear is very safe. So in the US, for instance, we've never had a loss of life from radioactive release at a nuclear plant. Well, thank you, Marsha. We've been with Marsha Berkey from TerraPower talking about the future of nuclear energy. I'm Alan Boyle, aerospace and science editor at GeekWire telling you to watch the carbon-free skies.